Oh, well, there's so much. <laughs> there's too many things. There's too many things. I mean, away from all the buzz. Um, wait, I had it. I was in plan. I was setting plans in motion to open a bigger space for the restaurant because honestly, we, we were kind of outgrowing this space and we need a much bigger staff strength. So there is that. I have classes and I need to do my next class because my the students, the intending students have been on me. Um, I'm working on a cookware line. Yeah, so um, um, pots, basically just cookware because there are things that I've looked out for. People used to always be very intrigued with my cookware and there are things that I look out for that I don't see or there are certain designs that maybe just, maybe I haven't found them but I've not been able to see them and I feel like, oh, there are cookwares that work for both content creators and, you know, food, food vendors and just for home use that are durable and you know, so for me, it's like I need to I need to put a collection like that together, that is you know is affordable, but at the same time is not is is it's not for everybody. But at the same time, people can have, like people can put money together to be able to afford it. You know, there is that. I want to do classes across. You know, I want to host master classes across the world because again. I honestly feel like Nigerian food is so good. Like it's so good. And it it's hurtful when I teach. Because when I teach my students, I have so many students from across the world. And when they try to recreate these recipes, it's so difficult because finding the ingredients is so hard. And I'm like, it's because a lot of people are not making these meals in these parts of the world that they don't feel the need to cultivate this um these ingredients they are not planting it they are not growing it they are not shipping it and everything is just like it's just here it's like when you come to nigeria oh you can make all these meals but when you're in the uk or in the us or you're in italy or you know you're in dubai it becomes a huge hassle to be able to make it but that's not the goal it's like if we have if the demand for it increases what happens is more people will think that okay there's a business here so maybe if I'm, if I'm able to grow what I live, if I'm able to grow wild spinach, that's okazi. If I'm able to grow this, if we can ship some periwinkles, if we can have more snails, if we can have, you know, um, a gusi and like, I want you to be able to walk into for a Tesco, for instance, and you don't have to travel all the way to one African store to be able to find Nigerian, Nigerian ingredients because it's only a select few of people. Just the way we would make Alfredo pasta at home or go to restaurants and want to try Alfredo, I want to try this. It's like, that's what I want for Nigerian recipes, where people are going to fine dining and they are saying, oh, would like to try your seafood okra and your poundo. We want your bean cake and, you know, and, you know, there's like, once you are going beans, that is it, because it is such good food. It's not a meal that you need to go to your house and remove your shirts and eat. Mm -mm. That's, it. that's what we've pushed it out as. But it goes beyond that, like more people need to try because it's such comfort food and I need it to be integrated into like everybody's, every home across the world. So whatever it takes for me to achieve that is definitely what I'm doing. Obviously, I want to work with brands because in truth, there are quite a number of brands that I've looked forward to working with, not just because I want the name or oh, I'm working with this brand or I'm signed to this brand, it's because I have so much value to add to the brand. There are so many things where I feel like, oh, there are products and then there are solutions that I can, we can come together to create, to build an ease of service and ease of use. Because again, I'm a consumer, I'm a very heavy consumer. So I know that, you know, my insight is going to be very useful and I'm very big on integrity. So I'm not going to take on a brand just because of money. It's more, I know that there's value that I can bring to this brand and there's a value that this brand can also bring to the people that I need to share them with.